Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. This video is on B. We did A, so our focus is on B. If you did not watch this video, do so now. Watch the video. It's on my YouTube channel. You can click on the link in the description below. Okay. So now for B, they want us to find the domain of f of x is equal to 4 over x minus 2. Okay, so we need to find the domain and the range. So let's start with the domain. If you watched the previous video or the video uh, whose link is in the description below, and if you did not watch, just click in the description. The link will take you to where the video is. So here I said for, the, for this one, we equated this to 0, equal to 0, and so for x. So also the same here, we we'll say x minus 2 is equal to 0, okay? So when we solve, our x will be equal to a 2. Here, when we solve, our x will be equal to what? To 2. This 2, when you put it here, it will give us a 0, meaning it's undefined. You can't have a 0 as your denominator. It will look like this, 4 over a 0, and this is the wrong. You can't do this, okay? So we shall say our range, I mean our domain, domain, our domain will, will be anything but not a, uh, two. Any number, any real number will be okay, but not a two, you see? So we're going to write it as um, x, Okay, is uh, less than uh, 2 or x is uh, greater than 2. Sorry, a 2 here. So this, what, what this implies, it implies that uh, 2 is not included. So if you know how to work out with uh, these inequalities, uh, you find that when we say less, it means this 2 is not inc uh, included. Also here, it's not included. So if it's this one, maybe it may start from uh, any number less than uh, a 2. For this one, any number greater than, uh, greater than a 2. So that's, that's how it is. These are the two solutions. And if you don't want to write them in this form, you can say uh, negative infinity like that. You see the one written? Uh, union. Here we say 2 comma infinity. So this is also a solution. If you don't want to write this, you can write it, this right here. So let's go, let's move with this one. We move with this one. We shall say our domain, domain here is right here. X is less than a 2 or X is greater than a 2. So this is our domain. Now, since we've found our domain, to find our, our range, we just try to figure out which solutions can we get when we substitute this. We can get, or we substitute this range, I mean this domain, what range can we get? For this domain, we definitely get anything, okay, uh, f over x uh, is uh, greater than uh, or if you move like this, is less than, is less than, a, less than a zero, because zero won't be included. So this we just say is less than, less than, a, it's less than a zero. Zero is not included. You can't find your answer to be equal to zero. Again, the other one for f of x is that greater than a zero. That's all. This is the solution. So maybe you may be wondering. Let me just talk a bit about. How have I found uh, this or this? This, I've just figured out that I can't get my answer to be equal to zero. Okay? So this is where this uh, range is coming from. You can't get your answer to be equal to zero. There's no number that you can substitute to get a zero in this uh, function. And then for my domain, you find, you start with, you solve this uh, denominator, and the answer that you get, we got x is equal to 2. Meaning at 2, it's an it find. You can't get a, a solution at 2. If you put a 2 here, it will give your denominator a 0. 
which is something that we don't want to have right now. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to subscribe, okay, like, and comment.